You are watching the 2024 World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships individual recap video. Kia ora everyone, I'm Donna Louise and I'm still in Slovenia. I'm filming this from Jeanette's puzzle area. She's off at work today, so I'm trying to film as much as I can. And please, apologies, I will be using the same intro video for all the recap videos. I hope you understand. I'm just under a time crunch, but at the start of the video, you would have heard me say whether you're watching the individual pairs or teams videos. It's just been amazing. What a week we had at the competition. So Jeanette and I, with heaps of other people, went to the 2024 World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships in Valladolid, Spain. Again, I have to thank Peace Relax, my sponsor. Not only did they financially support me to go to the competition, they showed up in person and cheered me on and it was just next level amazing. So thank you so much to them. I met so many amazing people and I think I have 1400 photos to go through and I will add them into the videos. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I didn't get a chance to say hi or take a photo with you or if your photo is missing, apologies. I'm going to try to include as many people as I can in the three videos to come. This year was just so much fun. First of all, we exchanged badges, pins, and that was just great. And I hope anyone that comes next year, if you can make badges or even people made stickers and little printouts, it was just great. And so my lanyard here, you can see all the pins and the badges that I got. I showed that off at the live stream as well. It was just great. It was getting a little heavy around my neck, but I saw someone use a Robinsberger puzzle bag and that was great, like the blue ones that the puzzles come hidden in, and they were putting the pins on that. So I think I might do that next year. I brought my pin to notebook here, and so many of you signed it, and that was just great, and I absolutely loved it. Thank you so much to everybody that signed my book. I think I even have a sticker that I put right there. Of course, Stein gave us all mascots to represent our countries, so I got the Kiwi and named him Chestnut. This is so very special. So Devin from Canada brought me this. I got some details, hopefully I have this all correct. Her father-in-law, Dave, made these. It's a box top holder. And what I love, it has a little Canadian flag inset. It's made of teak with a walnut finish. And her husband, Doug, put a clear lacquer on them, instrument grade, because he makes guitars. I'm not sure if he makes any other instruments, but I know he makes guitars. How beautiful is that? Um, her father-in-law gave them to her and other of her puzzle friends that went to Worlds. Just wanted them to travel with a little bit of support and positivity for the competition. So many badges, so many little printouts. And these two little cards. Now, I believe Jeanette gave them to me and it was a Slovenian friend who was at the competition who designed these and made them and also helped design the logos on the back of our shirts. I think she retweaked Stein's dry, uh, lion on the back of our shirts. And even Lamanda was there giving out like little puzzle pieces and they had this whole little game where you took your puzzle piece, you went to the main puzzle and if your piece was the missing piece, you won a prize or something. There was just so much going on this year. It was great. There was the Guinness World Records challenge um, there was a quiz. Our team that we joined up for the quiz, we actually took third place in the quiz. That was so much fun. The Guinness World Records Challenge, the USA won. Amazing, so fast. And in fact, there's a little note in here. Give me a moment, let me like read it because it made me tear up and cry. It's from Tiffany, who from the USA did so well at the competition. So nice to meet you, Don Louise. Team USA watched your Guinness puzzle as part of our practice. So I think that makes you an honorary member of the Guinness World Records team. Oh my goodness, that made me tickled pink. I did a puzzle haul and I showed all the jigsaw puzzles that were gifted to me. But one gift that didn't make it to the table was from Karolina from the Ukraine because she gave me chocolates and let's face it, chocolates were gonna, not gonna last that long. Uh, so it was just so much fun. You can see some of the exclusive puzzles that were released during the competition. And so now let's just jump right into the video. So you're either watching one of three videos, the individual pairs or teams, all three videos will be put up. And um, I hope you enjoy. I had the most amazing time. I can't wait to go again next year. 
Trust me, even if you're not a fast puzzler, just to go and experience it, to get the exclusive puzzles, to meet everyone is, is just amazing. I had the best time ever. Again, thank you, Peace Relax, for supporting me. And to all of you who support the channel, as of filming this, I just surpassed 31,000 subscribers and I'm overwhelmed. I'm so emotional. I think when I get back to New Zealand, I'm either going to cry for a week or sleep for a week or eat chocolate for a week or everything. It's just been great. So I hope many of you can come again next year. I want to meet you all. Do not be shy. Come up and say hi. I maybe chat too much. I will admit I'm a bit of a chatterbox and I love to chat and take photos and I enjoyed it. That was just the best part. So here you go with the recap videos. Enjoy. The individual preliminaries, there were six rounds. Everyone was given 90 minutes to complete a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle. This was my group, I was in group A, and I will admit as soon as I saw the puzzle, the image, I was so pleased. It calmed me down. It felt like this puzzle was achievable, an image I'd be able to do. And I was so pleased that I had practiced the full flip using you know, a limited area, pulling out the border, and you're gonna see that I'm only building as much as of the border that I felt was easily done. So I don't actually work on the sky portion of the border. And I quickly start pulling out the pieces to the smaller houses and the boats at the bottom. Now I had never done this puzzle or seen this image before, but I had heard that many of the puzzles from the preliminary rounds had been released in Europe alone. In fact, you'll, you'll notice maybe, you know already, there was Hello Vinyl as well as postcard from Paris that are in the preliminary rounds. Both puzzles that I had, but I only got because I went to Canada and the competition in Canada. They're not yet available in New Zealand. And I don't think many of these puzzles were actually available in North America either. So I loved this puzzle though. It was just so much fun. And I was just in a groove, picking and placing, grabbing pieces, chunks as I went. The colors were nice. Um, yeah, it was my style of image for a photograph. Nothing was blurry. There was lots of like, how can I put it? Like stuff that's closer to the camera and further away from the camera. Like a lot of sections you could work on. And you see at the bottom there, I'm pulling out all the, the boardwalk. Is that what it would be called? The boardwalk pieces. And that wasn't too bad because they all had, you know, lines and directions. Now my table mate, Tasia, was so amazing. She was so lovely. Her partner was standing on the sideline. We were the table next to the spectators. They were fanning her. And when she was done her puzzle, she started fanning me. And it, oh gosh, she was so amazing. I had so much fun doing this jigsaw puzzle and I was so proud of my achievement. So out of the 182 individuals, 152 finished the puzzle in the 90 minutes. I did it in 58 minutes. I was so proud. I didn't qualify, but that's okay. This was my fastest individual competition time. My first under one hour individual competition time. And I mean like competition, like in-person competition. And it was my fastest first try on a Robin's Burger puzzle. And I, I'm not sure if this will make sense to everyone, but it was my first under one hour first try on a Robin's Burger jigsaw puzzle. Like there were so many firsts for me. I felt I was on cloud nine. I was just walking a high. I was so pleased and I was so very proud. Oh, it's amazing. You don't have to do it though, seriously. <laughs> And Tasia, you see, how amazing was she fanning me like that? I was so excited. These emotions are completely real. I was overwhelmed. There's Guilain giving me the biggest hug. I just, uh, even though I didn't qualify, I was just so happy. But look at these times. Kristen from Norway, just under 27 minutes. And then Stephanie from Germany, 3228. And Mary from the USA, 3326. So fast, so wonderful. I hope everyone really enjoyed this jigsaw puzzle. The next group, Group B, this was a much more difficult image. This was Jeanette's 
um, group as well as Siobhan. They were both in this group. So I have Jeanette's time-lapse footage. She was so nice to share this with me. Again, she did a full flip, pulled out the border, and pretty much finished the entire border right away. And now, you know, I should have asked her more what she did. It looks like she grabbed out the brighter yellow pieces, the blue pieces, and, you know, now she's working on the sky. Beautiful, like it's a beautiful image, but difficult to speed run. I have not done this solo yet, but I will. But Jeanette did amazing. She knocked it out. Siobhan also did amazing, but the competition was fierce. So Jeanette qualified. Siobhan didn't qualify, but I know Siobhan still had fun. And look at that. Out of 181 individuals, 103 people finished the jigsaw puzzle. So that's a lower completion rate than my puzzle from group A. It just goes to show how much more difficult this image was. And here we see Jeanette finishing off her puzzle. And look at that. She's sitting next to Michelle from Speed Puzzles Europe. I think she was just like so pleased that she got it done. And here Siobhan had already finished her puzzle and the cameras didn't catch her, but they caught her just a few you know, minutes later waving. Uh, she was so pleased. But look at these times. Veronica from Poland, 41 minutes. Lorenzo from Italy, 46 minutes. And Melissa, the lovely Melissa from Australia, 46, 46. See how those times, you know, are quite a bit, I don't want to say quite a bit, but they're, they're larger by 20 minutes or so than the first round times. And it just goes to show how much more difficult I think Group B's image was from Group A. And then, of course, I said that I said it. Postcard from Paris would make an appearance at Worlds, and of course, I had practiced this puzzle, um, but I didn't get it, and that's fine. That's fine. There were 182 individuals in this category, and 147 people finished it. So a nice high completion rate. And you can see here it was Katy from Germany who finished it first. Look at this time. I didn't think anyone could beat. Um, Kristen's time from group A, but she did just a few seconds, but still, I think this was the fastest individual time. Katarina, Katy from Germany, 26.39. Then Teresa from the Czech Republic, so lovely, 31.55. Such Teresa, Marketa, all the team, people from the Czech Republic, the team, everyone, so friendly, so lovely. And then Christian from Poland, 32.52. So there were some fast times on this jigsaw puzzle. And then Group D, Hello Vinyl, the other puzzle I had practiced, I did not get. But I predicted, I said we would see some puzzles that had appeared at other competition, and this was one of them. There were 184 people in this category, and 149 people finished in under the 90 minutes. And just remember that if you don't complete the puzzle in 90 minutes, you still get your pieces counted and everyone is ranked. So there's an 81% completion rate on this jigsaw puzzle. And here we have the finishers and it was, I believe, Mercedes. Yeah, she is so calm. She's so lovely. I haven't really had a chance to talk with her yet. I don't even know if I got a photo with her. She's quite shy, I think. And um, look how calm and humble she is. Oh, what a beautiful person. I. How can I be that calm? Mercedes, you need to teach me how to be that calm in competition. From Hungary, 34 minutes, 17 seconds. From Siberia, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, Tessia? Tessia? Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, 3546. And just 10 seconds later, Chiara from Italy. So we get to Group E. Totally did not expect this. It's a licensed jigsaw puzzle, Spy Family. This was Stein's group. Stein knocked this out of the park. He qualified. He finished it in 58 minutes and 44 seconds came in 23rd out of 183 individuals. But only 96 people completed this jigsaw puzzle in time, a lower completion rate, because it's a difficult puzzle. It's a difficult image. Um, I can't wait to do this one myself. I don't know if I could finish this in 90 minutes. Look at him. He smashed that out of the park. So here we have Gisela from Spain, 37 minutes, 24 seconds. I was commentating during this live stream, which was so much fun. Victor from Poland. Victor, amazing guy, loved him. So much fun, great guy. And Gisela was lovely because I got to talk to her during the live stream. So Victor, 40 minutes and 24 seconds and then Marketa from the Czech Republic 42 26 just 
just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So now group F, the Formula One Monaco puzzle. This one is a lot more difficult, I think, than it first appears. I have a copy, can't wait to do it. Out of the 190 individuals in the group, 114 completed it, so 60% completion rate. And of course, uh, the most lovely, amazing Alejandro. Seriously, when I say that he is the nicest, most humblest, friendliest guy, I am not lying. He is a sweetheart. Oh, I got to spend much more time with him this trip. Just so much fun. So friendly. So great. Seriously, talk to him. If you go to the competition, oh, he's just, I can't say enough. I can't say enough what a wonderful guy he was. He was just so lovely to all of us, and I really appreciated it. So here you go, Alejandro from Spain, 3443. Then it was Becca from the USA, 4125. And from the Netherlands, sorry if I mispronounce your name. I be Jeanette helped me. I believe it's pronounced, is it Inge? Oh, I hope I'm saying that correctly, 4508. But yeah, this, what is it, like a d art deco kind of style jigsaw puzzle? I think it's a lot more tricky than it first appears. So now I decided I wanted to get a feeling of ranking the puzzles by difficulty. And there's a lot of factors, let's face it, there's a lot of factors, whether or not people have done the puzzle before, the lighting, the time of day, but just looking at completion rate. So how many people in the group completed the puzzle in under the 90 minutes? If we just look at that factor, you can see that my jigsaw puzzle from group A was the easiest. Whereas last year, I got the most difficult one, the Lupins. And the most difficult puzzle this year would have been the Spy Family Licensed. I just thought it would be kind of fun to, to look at them and rank them. What do you think? Looking at these puzzles, though, I kind of would have thought that postcard from Paris would have had a higher completion rate. That's so interesting. But then again, if I look at my own personal times, um, the boathouses from my group A, I did complete quite a bit faster on the first try than either Hello Vinyl or Postcard from Paris. So very interesting. Postcard from Paris was not as easy as um, we first thought. Still easier than the Spy Family, but it's very interesting to see this. And um, yeah, I just thought it was a fun little, a little statistic to look at. Now we move on to the two semifinals round. The first puzzle was Ocean Whimsy. This was Jeanette's semifinal round. So everyone that qualified from groups A, B, C moved on to semifinal one. And then everyone that qualified from groups D, E, F moved on to semifinal two. These were unreleased jigsaw puzzles, so no one had ever seen or done before. And I do believe Jeanette really enjoyed her jigsaw puzzle. We're watching her time lapse footage right now, and she'll definitely chat more about this puzzle on her video once she does her recap. She was so pleased. I was so pleased for her. She did so well. Again, for the semifinals, you had 90 minutes to complete it. And there were 180 individuals in the first semifinal and 100% completion rate. Jeanette qualified 55 minutes and 24 seconds. Amazing. I was so happy for her. She did so well. Looking at these times, First, Katarina from Germany, 33 minutes and 57 seconds. Then Kristen from Norway, 34.41. And Veronica from Poland. I got to chat with Kristen this year. So lovely, so friendly. I had the best time talking with her. She, oh, this year, I really tried hard to talk to as many people as possible. So much fun. And for those of you I didn't get a chance to chat with, I hope I get to chat with you next year. And then we moved on to semi-final two. Look at this image. So much fun. Flower jungle. So bright and colorful. I'm not sure which one of the semi-final puzzles I would prefer, to be honest. So Stein was in this semi-final. 181 individuals. And again, everyone completed it in the 90 minutes. Stein did not qualify, but still had an amazing time of an hour, 9 minutes, and 27 seconds. And here you can see the finishers. It was Mercedes who finished first. Again, so calm. How does she do it? She needs to teach me her secrets. What was that time? Just over, was it 33 minutes or 34 minutes? Amazing. Yes, yeah, so 3401 Mercedes from Hungary. 
and then the lovely Marquetta from the Czech Republic, 3442, and the dear sweet Alejandro from Spain, 3457. Now, looking at these two jigsaw puzzles, I thought I could compare the difficulty like I did with the individual preliminary rounds. However, ah, uh, everyone completed it in under the 90 minutes. Looking at the times, the fastest times and the slower times were very comparable. There was maybe one outlier on the flower jungle. The spread seemed very similar. And maybe if you really dive into the weeds of it all, you could figure out which one was more difficult. But just quickly looking at it, I could not determine which one of these two jigsaw puzzles was more difficult. I think they're very comparable. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Personally, from me, I think I would prefer doing the flower jungle because of the brighter colors. However, I don't think it's as easy as it initially looks because there's a lot of repeat patterns. Maybe I'd do faster on the ocean whimsy. I honestly don't know. I have to do both of these puzzles eventually to find out. And then we move on to the finals. Oh, the excitement. It was just amazing. But look at this puzzle. Tiger family in the oasis. Green vegetation. Fur tiger for lines oh my goodness they only had 75 minutes to do this jigsaw puzzle in the finals we have Jeanette's time lapse here she smashed it she did so well I was so proud of her I'm I was trying not to get too excited and cheer her on not to make her nervous she will definitely chat about this in her recap video I really appreciate her letting me use her time lapse footage uh, again, full flip, pulled out the border, then worked on the sections and the colors. But goodness, look at that. Leaving most of the tiger fur for the end. I don't blame her. She did so well. In 75 minutes, there were 180 individuals in the finals and 161 completed it. Quite a high completion rate, nearly 90%. Jeanette's amazing time, 111.33. So proud of her. Question for you all. Should they have allowed it to be 90 minutes? And do you think everyone would have been able to finish if it would have been at that extra 15 minutes? Would we have seen 100% completion rate? And look at Jeanette finishing. I, I was next to her on the floor. I wanted to record the moment. She was so happy and passed the pickup challenge. I was so pleased for her. Here we go. Third place, Christian from Poland, 41 minutes and nine seconds just so amazing he was so pleased then veronica from poland second place 39 minutes 12 seconds oh man poland came to they came to puzzle let's just say that they did so well and then our champion kristen from norway first place 37 minutes and 58 seconds just amazing let's have a watch here and see her finish Oh my goodness, like the vibe in the dome, I can't explain it. I absolutely love watching someone else speed puzzle. I love seeing them. I just enjoy the atmosphere. I enjoy the moment. I'm always amazed at everyone who can puzzle. It's just great. Seriously, so much fun. So once again, our top three, Kristen from Norway, 37.58, Veronica from Poland, 39.12, and Christian from Poland, at 41.09. Just amazing. But let's have a look at the top 10 here. So in 10th place, Teresa from the Czech Republic, 44.30. The ninth place, again, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, Inge from the Netherlands, 44.08. Now let's take a moment to talk about the tie for seventh place between Alejandro from Spain and Katrina from Australia. That was just a beautiful moment. If you haven't seen the prize giving live stream, go watch it. Just everyone was in tears. Everyone was crying. I would love to share a podium with Alejandro. He was such a gentleman, just amazing. So great. And Katrina from Australia is a lovely person. It was so special to me to see them up on the podium together. Mercedes from Hungary six at 43.53. Oh yeah, and Alejandro and Katrina were 43.59. Just seconds, we're talking seconds apart there. Insane. Fifth place, Katarina Kati from Germany, 52.56, 42.56. Kelly Walter from the USA, 42.46. And then the top three, 
Christian, Veronica, and Kristen. Amazing. It was just a most amazing competition. So much fun. Loved being at the Dome. Loved meeting everyone. If you can make it next year, trust me, you will not be disappointed. Just come in and have fun. Puzzle. Meet people. Make new puzzle friends. Get unreleased puzzles. It's so well worth it. I hope you can all make it someday. I had just the time of my life. Hope you enjoyed the video. That was the individual recap. I was so pleased with how well I did. And I just have to give another shout out to Tasia, my table mate, who supported me and cheered me on and fanned me right till the last minute. That was so, so great. So go watch the pairs recap video next. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I hate saying that out loud, but it really does help the video and the channel grow and it means a lot to me. And until then, ciao. Oh, you shouldn't have. It's 57 minutes. You can do it. Oh, no, I'm panicking now. I can do it. You I got this. You got it. this. But I never finish an under now. Are you, you serious? This. Yeah, you're going to do it. Oh, my God. You can do it. Oh, no. No, no. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Okay. Breathe. Deep breath. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Look, I'm serious. Oh, shit. Sorry, language. Language. You're okay. Are you serious? You got this. You got this. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> You crashed. <laughs>